Hi, thanks for watching. Andy here, let's do a card for Leo uh, for the full moon on the 19th of April 2019. That is a full moon in Libra. Uh, so it's a time of balance. I'll say that before I've even pulled a card. Uh, we're going to do three tarot cards and we'll do an oracle card as a significator as well. Or more or less, depending on what my guide wants to do, depending on where the influences are taking us. As we go along with this okay so now i'm shuffling away here uh, i'm actually removing this card which is something i like to look at while i work but isn't actually one of the deck uh, this is the thoth deck by the way and i'm asking for a card please for leo for the full moon on the 19th of april 2019 bearing in mind that um the effects of a full moon actually go on all the way through until the next full moon, which is a complete month, and it's a moon month, uh, not a calendar month, so it's a real month. It really is. So let's ask again, please, for um, a card for Leo for the full moon on the 19th of April 2019 in Libra. We want three cards, but one will do to begin with. Okay, what have we here? I'm told to turn to the bottom of the deck and on there is this one. So let's put the others down for now. And it's the Seven of Swords. It's about futility. Well, seven is an odd number and I feel that the, the first thing coming towards you, Leo, is something of an odd nature, something out of the ordinary and something that it's baffling at first glance, but if you actually bring your skills to bear on it, your, your life skills, your wisdom as it were, if you bring those to bear on what's coming towards you, more of which will be revealed in a moment, no doubt, if you bring your skills to bear on that, uh, then things can actually even out. Because one thing about an odd number is you do get one in the middle. When there's an even number, there's never one pointing up to the middle like that. Uh, there's one on either side of the middle. So at least with an odd number, there is a straight line there. Now, it's the Seven of Swords, so we've got thoughts, we've got thinking, we've got everything to do with um, possibly sleepless nights is the best way to uh, sum that up. But look how clear, look how blue and bright this sky is. Um, I'm going to say speak your truth because it's that turquoise colour. Getting very new agey there, but why not? Look at me, I'm a hippie. What do you expect me to do? Right, so that is the first of the three cards. And it is number seven, and it's the Seven of Swords. And I'm seeing an Aquarian influence in that as well. Um, so look out for the Aquarius in your life. Uh, this is for Leo, by the way, but look out for the Aquarius in your life who may be throwing something at you out of left field, so to speak. And uh, be ready to either catch it or duck out of the way. <laughs> it's going to vary depending on who is hearing this reading because... Um, you know, thousands of people will watch this in the fullness of time. I hope and I pray. Uh, but I know many, many people will watch it and we're all a bit different. So gender is interchangeable. All kinds of things are interchangeable, really. But I know this is just bound to resonate with Leo's out there, uh, especially as we come up to that Libra full moon and go through the, the month afterwards. OK, so the next card on the bottom of the deck <coughs> is... <coughs> Excuse me. It's the hanged man reversed. Okay, he's like the which actually makes him the right way up. But that's this is the right way the card is supposed to be up. But it's that way. Okay. So the first thing I really want to do as soon as I see this is turn this situation the right way up. Um, so it's going to be a time of waiting, and it's really going to be a desire to crack on with things, but actually still having to wait. And uh, this is the thing coming out of left field. Uh, in the Seven of Swords just a second ago. Uh, it's just forcing something where it's time to go. It's time to get cracking. It's time to get stuck in. And you just got to wait and wait because, you know, something's come out of left field. That's the third time I've said it now. I wonder how many fields there are on the left. Plenty, I hope, because there's a lot for them to do. Okay, so we've also got... When it's reversed, okay, we've got the, the ank becomes the right way up, so the spiritual side of things seems to be coming right. And this is the middle of the three cards, so this is looking good, Leo. And as I hold the card this way up, it's almost as if the hanged man is too much on display. <clears throat> it's as if you want to kind of slow the show down or stop the show until you've worked out some details <clears throat> and then get on with it. I must drink more water, that is really what I must do. Excuse me. You know, I'll have to get a little desk in front of me that I can put my water on as well. That'd be good. 
Okay, so now we're asking for a third card of this three card spread, please, for Leo for the full moon in Libra on the 19th of April 2019 for the last of the three tarot cards in this spread. Okay, and one has just absolutely jumped out and it's the Queen of Wands. So it's the goddess energy, it's the feminine energy, it's the getting things done energy, and it's a very happy looking card there for Leo. It's out there, it's red, it's bold, it's also gold. So uh, that's really, really going to be good news uh, for you, Leo, to be able to really push forward. And this is actually getting the show back on the road after you've gone through this time of kind of hanging about. So over the next month, things really do come to life as I'm looking at this. Okay, I've got a feeling about relationships in this as well. Okay, and what I want to say to you is that the most important relationship you have is uh, the, the relationship you have with yourself, your relationship to you, because uh, that is the longest relationship you will ever have. And within that, it's your relationship with God as well. So we come on to the idea of karma, and karma isn't just about getting a slap, uh, which, which, you know, does happen to Leos because they like to stick their head above the parapet and get things done. And uh, God bless them, good luck to all of you. I really mean that because uh, people have to innovate. People have to get out there and people have to be seen to drive progress forward or we'd still be living in the caves. We really would. But karma comes towards us in a package which is uh, wrapped up very tightly uh, in terms of anything we can do about it. But if we've actually kind of made a positive change in life, if things are going in a better direction and we're visualising and we're more in tune, uh, then when the karma arrives, it arrives in a completely different format to that in which it's set off. So we can change outcomes and we can create the future as well. Now, why do I want to say that to Leos? I don't know, because I was talking about innovation and invention a minute ago. And I guess it ties into that, Leo. We're talking about vision questing. We're talking about looking to the future. And my first feeling about relationships around this card is making me think, do the groundwork for the future. Okay, be more ready. Um, when a relationship comes along, it's possible just not to be in the right place in your heart. And then it becomes like ships in the night because... Uh, you guys sort of don't attract each other then. Okay, so think about being ready for love. I'm not saying love is coming in immediately, but it's on its way. Think about being ready for it, okay, as we get towards sort of August and the hotter months. Uh, that's a very strong feeling I get from this card, Leo. Also, the golden here is reminding me to tell you that uh, Venus makes a very favourable aspect uh, with the sun this week. Um, in uh, in astrology and that is actually going to allow um, a great deal of sorting out in personal relationships relationships of all kinds actually and uh, finances money getting things straight along those lines so that is good news so there we go that's a three card spread for leo uh, there's a lot of hanging about in there basically look let's see the, the spread there uh, there's a lot of hanging about in there there's blue sky thinking there's odd numbers and everything but there's also lines straight up the middle. There's also great things happening. Uh, there's also a, a lovely sense of no problem. Now the deck I'm, I'm, I'm drawn, excuse me, the deck I'm drawn to choose from uh, for an oracle card for Leo, which I'm now asking for, for Leo for the Libra full moon on the 19th of April 2019 and the month after. Excuse me hiccuping away like a mad thing here and this card for you is uh, reward yourself it didn't take me long to forget that did it and leo it doesn't take you long to forget to reward yourself uh, leos are often thought of as egotistical not so they just need to get ideas out into the open often very much misunderstood but give something back to yourself leo including a complete rest including not worrying about any kind of any kind of out there stuff a uh, complete rest is what really comes to me as I look at this and think about it, because we've got a child here. Not too much responsibility would be put on that child's shoulders in this world, would it? Ideally. I mean, I know many children in this world are really leaned upon in a terrible way and made to work long hours and just life is not easy for children by a long way. But generally speaking, we wouldn't expect a child that young to be able to cope with a terrible amount of pressure. And so that kind of flying, kind of fairy aspect of Libra, uh, of Leo, I'm sorry, needing to come into balance 
means just having a rest because the wings that drive this angel around are purple. They're full of healing and uh, they're actually, what is it called? Lilac amethyst kind of purple. My favourite kind of amethyst. It's gentle. So, Leo, you've been giving a lot of yourself lately. It's time for you to receive. Make time to reward yourself meaningfully. The balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood and motivation at a consistently high level. Okay, Leo. Well, there we go. I will say thank you for working with me because it's all been psychic. It's all been spirit guides and it's all been the tarot and the oracle. So thanks very much, guys. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, you know what to do. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Tap the bell to make sure you don't miss anything too. Uh, because I need more subscribers, guys. That's the truth. I've got to get up to a thousand subscribers because YouTube changed the rules. I need a thousand subscribers to do the old live broadcasts, the live psychic readings, uh, which is what brought us all together in the first place. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Thank you also to everyone who's watched my videos, any of my videos. I love doing them. I love connecting with you guys. Um, YouTube is run by a crazy sort of mad robot that just does its own thing, as far as I can tell. it, And it changes things all the time. But one thing that's great about it is it's forced me to kind of focus on one thing and specialise in it. And uh, because I'm doing what I love, and you guys, I guess, are watching this because you enjoy this kind of thing, there's a synergy there, you know? Hands across the ocean, across the internet, across the cobwebs in the sky. Who knows? I hesitate to say, really. But guys, thank you very, very much indeed for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you again very soon with yet another video and yet another reading.